Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crabler back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing how to get that ambient intro vocal for your music. Basically the space where it builds up into the beat, so it's not just blank and you can like hum or something, but I'll, we'll get into it. But anyway, everyone needs a good intro, everyone needs a good build up. But anyway, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe, notification bell as well. So never miss a video that I post. Also make sure to check out my description down below. A lot of sweet things down there like preset packs, all my equipment, all my music, all my social media, and a distro kid link to get 5% off your sign up. So you can put your music everywhere so it can be streamed by everyone. Anyway, ambient intro vocals. Let's get in the video. When I do my how to sound likes, I always run the risk of being blocked or copyrighted. But with this one, I'm not going to have that. This beat will be in the description down below. Shout out to the producer that did it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hum and sing some non words and then i'm going to show you how they would be edited this is kind of like an instrument as well this is kind of like a woodwind flute what i'm going to do is go right from scratch and edit it live for you so you can just follow with me and kind of get my thinking towards it let's do it dry oh, 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 la 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 na 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 no All right, that might have been a little uh, exaggerated. Like I said, we're starting completely dry. So new audio track. So what we want to do with the vocal first, okay? The first thing you want to do is let's find pitch correction. You see right now it's completely empty. We're gonna go grab a pitch correction right now. What I'm gonna do to try to find it is turn the response time all the way down. Start in major and go one by one. So watch. Okay, well that, that worked. So you're not going to always get it on the first try, right? This is the first literal root in the first like option. Listen to what it sounds like if you go through each one, like I try to recommend every time. Sounds like crap, right? And then you can go into natural minor and see which one sounds good there. So ultimately, we're going to go with a natural minor scale A. So that's a hugely important part of doing this. It's my, probably the most important, unless you have really good vocals, but not everyone does. There's not many people with perfect, right? So once you find the pitch correction, which mine was natural minor scale A, double click the track. It might not say flex pitch for you. Probably going to have to click this thing, uh, click this, and then go to flex pitch. You're going to see the exact notes that are being uh, sung by you. What you want to do is already have it scale quantized. So like I said, natural minor A, highlight everything. Correct it 100%. They all snap together. And then because we're humming and singing, we don't care about distorted like words. We can change the vibrato, which is the middle knob. The vibrato is in the middle, and you pull it all the way to zero. This is what it sounds like now. Pitch track's not even on. It already sounds kind of decent. All right, so now let's compress it. We got dynamics, compressor mono for this one let's do a studio vca i like the red one i don't know if it's because my brain likes the color of it or it just sounds better but whatever first turn off auto gain you don't want that all these are the same let's make the attack 50 and then release like 150. ratio 2.8 i kind of want it to go between five and zero so i'm going to pull this back and you're going to see it actually go back you pull it all the way down it does that no 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 like that la, 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 la. okay that goes right between five and zero like i wanted and we're gonna do half the makeups so at 2.5 instead of five mm -hmm. all right that is the compression that's about it for that 2.8 ratio negative at 28.5 on the thresh threshold 2.5 makeup 50 150 okay close it next let's clean it up with a channel eq oh, 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 oh. about 150 la, 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 la. Na, 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 na. Flatten it. Let's grab an no. orange. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. La, 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 la. Na, 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 na. All right. All right. So as you can see, I just went through and uh, made the EQ. Now I basically just brought the red to 150. 
Uh, the orange to 200 dropped that as well. Uh, then I brought the green to 500, dropped a little bit, but took the blue over 5K, dropped it 1 dB, and then took this purple to 15K and dropped it 10. Uh, I kind of, I don't want to boost any of the frequencies. I kind of want to leave it underneath. And as you can see, as we took everything away, let's just simply pull back 1 dB right here. We'll put back 1 dB on the gain and close it. Next, we're going to be super lazy here and just go <laughs> amps and pedals, pedal board, mono. Ready for this? And then just cut it off. Just leave it preset. This is what it sounds like so far. So far, so good. All right, there's no reverb or anything yet, but that's a super important part. The reverb, so what we're gonna do is have two. So now we have no buses out. It's completely empty. You're gonna see what it looks like when you create one. So in this empty cell right here, it has a little circle next to it. Go to bus, bus one, boom, it just opened up right here. Click below it, bus two, boom as well. Now, let's create the reverbs that are in each bus. So bus one, we're gonna make it a normal vocal reverb. In reverb, spaces on our mono stereo. This tactic I've used in a lot of videos. So we're gonna start with a large space plate, 2.6 second vocal. We're gonna make the wet zero and the dry at negative 10. Close it. Set up the bus two, which is right here. I do another one. Reverb, spaces on our mono stereo. In that one, click the top, large space, outdoor, 9.2 second upper echelon, it's my favorite one. And then zero wet, negative 10 dry. Let's turn up the knobs right next to it. So bus one's gonna control spaces on our one, which has the 2.6 second. So let's make it 15. <laughs> Very cute, right? Now let's make this one. This one's gonna be more intense. This one's gonna be more intense. Yeah. 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 Negative three. As you can see, as I turned up the second reverb, it got super loud and kind of hurt. So what you want to do is bring it down a lot. This is what it sounds like so far. And you can change the volume to whatever you want. Next, we want to add what makes it sound like an instrument, and that is a vocal transformer. Above pitch correction, click the little open sliver, and then we got pitch vocal transformer. Add it. I'm going to talk on it as I change it. We want to just get a deeper vocal. We don't want to use pitch. We don't want to use this. This sounds really, this sounds like a, I don't even know. Don't use pitch. We're going to use the format one. Listen to how my voice changes. Listen how it changes. It all sounds like witness protection. So now that we have that, let's bring it back down. And let's play it and see what's really happening. Activate everything. All right, now that you have that, now comes the easiest part of the whole thing. If you don't know how to duplicate, you just hold Command on your keyboard and then hit D. It's going to make the exact same track. What I want you to do now is hold Alt or Option on your keyboard as well. It's right next to Command. Take it and drag it right below. Make sure the position and length are both yellow. That means they're exact same. And now we're not adding anything else. What we're going to do is we're going to make it a little quieter. We're going to go into the Vocal Transformer. And instead of having format at negative 12, we're going to put it at plus 12. Now it's the Alvin and Chipmunk effect. See that? All right, so as you heard me just then, plus 12, plus 12. There's 12 notes in an octave. You want to have it uh, perfectly aligned like that. Now, the reason for this is it kind of gives like a, a whistly effect to it. All we did was change the vocal transformer on this track. It's going to be quieter. All right, we have a deep drone and a quiet squeak. Now I'm going to bounce the track and put it over my beginning to where I recorded it. And you're going to see what it sounds like completed. Here it is. Ooh. Ooh. doesn't have to be for an intro either that could be a cool ad lib and whatnot um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna freestyle and then try to use these as backup vocals to see how they sound as a backup kind of like to accent um a vocal you would do let's freestyle it up hey if you want to get a nice backup vocal if you want to get a nice one now i can teach you something new when you can't get around yeah yeah I'm lactose intolerant, so no dairy. I ain't even lying on the contrary. I just ate a red berry like from Pokemon. Oh, baby, what you want? I took a drug, 
when I fell in love with you <laughs> well, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video as well as learned something as well. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe and already subscribe, notification bell as well. Also, make sure to check out my description. It's chock full of sweet things. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think and what else to do next. Anyway, this has been a crowd but how to get that intro vocal ambience in your song, in your music. In Logic Pro 10, using only the stock plugins that they give you when you get the program. I ain't using waves, even though I tried to get them, but they didn't work, so I wasted 300 bucks. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, yeah.